What's going on, y'all? It's the T and TKG, and you guessed it. I did it again. My mic was muted during this situation, so now we're here with a voiceover. <laughs> All right, so we got to go down into the sewers. And this uh, elder dude seems to ask why we're doing that, because they've made many attempts, and they've been met with failure, because they just got to go down there try and find some food. It's all kinds of situations. They had many people go down there and gone missing. And we're out here using the guide if we get stuck. So, you know, they told us to be careful and come back alive. All right. Now, for this computer here, you need to find some type of password somewhere. And we're going to work on getting that somehow. It's actually a unique way to get it. But we'll get to that when we get there. Seems awfully strange. All this stuff is still held up. Awfully strange is just a rat just sitting there. Appears to be a decorative statue. Yeah, no, that that's that's not the truth. Nobody just puts a decorative statue on some railing. So uh, we'll address that here when the time comes. And here soon, man, we got a boss fight coming up. It's just a matter of like me figuring myself out. So you come up on in here and this big old dude comes through. Kaboom. It gives us the opportunity to walk to our spots to where we want to be. It's kind of strange because if it's, I think it's called the Guardian. And I know in order to take this thing out, you have to take out the little pods on the side. Because if you don't, it's just going to hit you with something tough and you're not going to be able to hurt it that much. They're like shields for them. So you got to take these things out that way they can take the brunt of the damage. So now we got Marley, Luca, and Chrono just going to town on these things, man. Because the sooner we do this, is the sooner we can, you know, give it a real hit. And these boss battles can be kind of tedious, so y'all can feel free to skip through it if you want. But this is just kind of like a walkthrough and a tutorial to show you how to do this. Because I know when I first started playing the game, some of these bosses like the Guardian and the Dragon Tank that you saw in the last video can be a real pain in the neck on how to get things done man like dragon tank you got to get rid of the the head first and then the wheel and then the body you can take out you know part of it's immune to fire lightning and then it heals itself up and with this one you got to attack these two little side things man and it seems to be a common theme in this game to attack different things to get to the main uh individual because you definitely as you'll see when we get to the final boss, have something very similar to deal with. Except on that boss, there's three different stages, and on the final stage is when you have something difficult and ridiculous to deal with. What we got here? Y'all have to excuse the uh, the sounds of yawning. I'm, my wife and I had to deal with something yesterday, put together a whole birthday party for our little son, and now we're here waking up early to get this recording voiceover and stuff posted for y'all so there was marley with the crit man so we're using luca pretty much as the healer out here even though i probably in hindsight should have been using luca's fire or flamethrower ability on this guy but we just decided to do straight attacks i don't really know what i was thinking in that aspect because i don't have the strongest weapons quite yet at this point in the game you have the strongest ones you can have so far without doing an astronomical amount of like battling and getting money because that's just brutal to deal with on that one and there it is we beat this boss so now we can go through to the food room that it was guarding and somehow somebody managed to sneak through 300 xp for all that how nice all right, so here we go. So here's the food they've been trying to get for a while, but it's all rotted. So none of this is able to be eaten, probably because, what was it, the refrigeration system? Yeah, it failed, and then they couldn't get down here to fix it because the Guardian was in the way of everything. So this dude has been passed away for a while, but what do we got here? We have a single seed. Hmm. Guess they're going to have to struggle a little bit while this seed grows into whatever it is. 
The rat is more than just a statue. It knows the secret of the dome cat. I knew that rat wasn't just a statue. Besides, who wants a rat statue? Or statues in general. Statues are, you know, some people get statues and they like worship them and that ain't okay. Like, and we caught the rat. So he's going to tell us the password so that we can go yada, 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 yada. A, Y, then B. Once you hear the sound, you're good to go. Alright. Now we follow the rat on the way out. Or at least I thought I did, but apparently not. No, I'm really not all that brilliant for this stuff. Cause I see, see look at this. I, so I forgot the controls here cause I'm so used to playing this on like the DS or the PlayStation 1 that I forgot the controls. It's so weird to play it on computer. And it's weird cause you have updated graphics on like the menu screens and like everything else, but the characters and fighting in this, there's like nothing going on. So I'm kind of dumb when it comes to this. There we go. Come on. Don't hurt yourself. Man, this has got to be the most brutal portion. I should have edited this out, but that's okay. You guys get to see me fail and roll with it. There it is. I think I got confused when it was like, wasn't that light bring type thing. I thought that the sound made before it meant that you were just good to go and you didn't just have to enter the whole passcode. So this was nice because uh, the motion is it could get you. It gets you if you move. So once the rats move, like, you're pretty much good to go because it was a guaranteed hit. So that made that a lot easier because it missed you if you weren't moving. So what are, what are we doing here? Oh, yeah. So this is why I should have uh, used some of Lucas' flamethrower on the Guardian because uh, Marley has a move called Aura Whirl. And that'll heal your entire party up slightly, and then it gets stronger. And you find better versions of it as the game goes on. And that's why, you know, as you have cool characters like Frog or Robo or Isla or Magus and all these extra people, Robo, it's often good to keep, like, Marley in your party unless you have a serious, like situation coming up where you just have to deal with this like you just need some extra strength and then that's when you can grab a robo or Ayla or Magus because Ayla has a triple kick that can do some serious damage and then but if you're just looking for the most part to do like regular battles like regular boss battles, like I took Luca and Marley into the into the final boss battle with me because when she uses uh marley has the power to control ice and luca can uh control fire and chrono can use lightning they can pack a pretty powerful punch especially on somebody as strong as lavos the first time you fight him and it's a lengthy battle like it is not just something you're just gonna be ready for so you want somebody that can hit you want to have a lot of items And then at the same time, you want somebody that can heal when, you know, you can't have a character to use all the items. So, so I, but I've seen people do it with Megas and uh, Chrono and um, Isla and Frog and, pretty, and Robo and all kinds of different characters. But I, um, I have my personal preference. I like the main three in that fight, but I might change it up this time just to see. Because I know you need some, some hard hitters at times. Leave it to Luca. Who would have thought this machine could tell us something? It's crazy. Technology must to not have advanced as much as it looks in this. Because um, this is 999 years later. And here we are. The Day of Lavos. This is the name of the final boss I was telling you all about. This is the day you go in that little pit there and you'll fight him before he can rise out. And then if you lose, this is the scene you see every time you lose. And if you win, then you obviously get the end credits, the end scenes, and um, 
you'll return back to your time, each person will go back to where they came from. So Frog will go back to 600 AD, Chrono, Luca, Marley will go back to 1000 AD, Robo will, to my knowledge, either, I don't know if he disappears or, if, no, because he was, he was still created, he probably goes forward to whatever is past this, I forget the time frame, and then there is, um, Magus will go back to the same time that Frog does, and then you know, Isla, or she'll go back to uh, to the prehistoric times of like 65 million BC. And so now we have to save the world. It says we can't let that happen. And this is Marley was throwing a fit over. We have to change it, Chrono. We've already gone back in time once, and Lucas said it's up to you. And Essentially, you have to pick yes. No is not really an option. Because otherwise, you know, what's the point in the gameplay? So here we are checking the guide because this is all real confusing for me. Last time I played this game on a successful run through, I was 12. So I played it 14 years ago. Was I 12? I was 11 or 12, man. I was one of the two. 11 or 12 was when I last played this and beat it. So, I remember I used to have, like, papers and stuff because it was more convincing. Because I had siblings that were trying to help me at the time. And they weren't following the game to where I was at to do things. And they were just telling me, like, oh, do this, do this. And, like, there was one time they were like, head south and out. I'm like, I can't. Like, there was a wall down there. It'd be like standing next to a brick wall facing north, and somebody said, leave south. That, that's what it was, man. But when I got, like, the paper, because my mom and dad didn't care if I printed all that stuff out, because they got it free and stuff. So I would, like, have, like, five pages of paper with instructions on how to do each quest to get something. And then we would be good to go. I could follow it myself and get it done in half the time. I should have kept them papers, man. I, I didn't even think I'd ever play the game again. But I should have kept the papers. Should have kept the PlayStation 1, the papers. The Nintendo 64 that I had. But I just can't be doing that, man. It's not the way to do it. So we're back to give this old man the seed he needs. And then we have to get our way onto the Protodome. And we got to get that by... Uh, by... Um, by getting his bike, I think. Seed might be your only hope. Stay alive, don't give up, and we won't either. Marley being the optimistic person she is. You mean because we haven't lost our hope? Hope, that's where I haven't heard in some time. It's got a comforting ring to it. I don't know what kind of seed it is, but we're going to do our best to grow it. This may be just the thing we need. You're off to the protodome then? Obtained the jet bike key. Oh, uh, this is when we have to go to S Site 32. And Site 32 is the place where there's all kinds of extra stuff going on. Poor kid. Says, why is daddy taking so long? Little girl, your daddy's the reason that the seed is there, but we gonna go fix the future for you. We gonna fix the future. So we gotta save for a little bit here. I gotta... I'm not going through all that again. So there we go. And now we are off to Site 32 after we're all healed up. We're using shelter here to get all of our uh, power and health back. Yep, there it is. Alright. So off we go. It's such a sad environment here, man. All right, so we had to site. No, I, you know, I went through the abandoned sewers one time, and it was just too much of a hassle. 
So I'm just going to avoid it this time. So we just went straight on to Site 32. Where we have to avoid the rats from stealing stuff from us again. And all that fun stuff. There's the jet pipe key. And now the robots are mad at us. And then the person that controls them come and say, wait right there. Look at this. Man, he is a weird looking dude. He looks like Mandark from Dexter's Laboratory. Look at his nose. He's got like a Squidward head. It's just so awkward. I don't know. He also reminds me of that Mirror B guy from Pokemon Stadium. It's always kind of something else, man. Gonna reach this and race against me. Man, easy money. I'll show you how to drive a motorbike. I'll let you use that jet bike because that's the kind of guy I am. Do you shiny axles know how to ride? Yup. You can come hold this L real quick. And this is some dope music right here. Just like, just take a listen. So yeah, but this is a strange like, like bike course, man. I don't know. I could have sworn he crossed the finish line first. Maybe I have more points than he does. I don't know. I don't know how that really works. But it looks like we were pretty close, so it might have just given it to us just to be nice. Which is rare in these old games because they often don't do that. Yeah, I think he beat me. But good things are happening. Maybe we had more points than he did. That's the best song in the entire uh, in the entire game right there. Good things are happening. Nothing bad ever happens to that song. Look at him. He must have blinked before we crossed the finish line. You beat me. I don't get it. You can come challenge me anytime. Ride with the wind. Oh, man. All right. So where are we headed? Now, that's right. We're headed to the Protodome. Let's go see what kind of stuff is there. The Protodome and the factory. Two of my least favorite places to be on this entire level. Oh good, we skipped all those extra tedious battles. And here is the individual I was talking to you about earlier. If you want a little bit of an extra punch to it. And here we go. It's crazy, in 1000 AD she was finding ways to jump time and teleport. We just got two electric cars <laughs> like I don't know how she can just jump from like to 900 years later and fix a robot that hasn't even been built in her time frame like at this point it's literally like she's just grabbing wires and just like oh let me put this here and put this here and put this here look at him all happy and dancing and such. <laughs> Called Marley a mistress. I'm not your mistress, I'm Marley. This is Chrono and that's Luca, the one who fixed you. Madam Luca, just Luca will do. Offensive speech. Well, some of us don't like it when we are so formal all the time. Understood, Luca. Alright, so what's your name? R66Y. No, 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 that won't do at all. Pick a better name. A robo works for me. RY66 is a lot cooler than Robo. I should have put that in there. What happened here? This dump contained many humans and others like me. Nobody's left, huh? What about yourselves? We're from the f we came through uh, the gate from the year 1000. Well, then there was a gate here, 
and came to the heiress dome, and then found you, we came looking for the gate. But the door to the inner chamber is shut. Yeah, that strong robot arm ain't gonna be able to crank this bad boy open. It does not work like that. It does not work like that. Not at all. You repaired me. It's my turn to be of assistance. The generator will produce the power for only a short time. See, now here is where you don't really have a choice. You have to take the robot with you. So who stays behind, Marley or Luca? I didn't have enough items to feel comfortable, so we kept Luca behind so that she could keep the door open. And Marley has the healing power. So there's a bunch of, uh... A bunch of battles that you guys really don't need to see. So there's going to be a lot of this factory portion cut out. So, yeah, because it's just one of those things where the person that's playing keeps making the same stupid mistake over and over again. So it really is just all about, you know, getting that handled and stuff. So, and just punch him. These acid things here, like super, super, like strong defensive wise, but low health. Because normally them shots would take like a hundred and some whatever. Aurora beam, that's a good one too. The robot and her going. All right, so down we go. So here we are. We're down here in the next area below, and we can't seem to figure ourselves out. Because this area is one big ol' annoying maze. Over here trying to press anything I think might be by. And then this thing grabs you. This is annoying because then you have to go through every single one of those. Like three rooms with more and more enemies. So we just skipped past those because I messed it up twice. So it's actually kind of ridiculous. Because if you even touch one of the robots that they're making then you're going to be the one that's going through a whole bunch of ridiculous stuff, man. Like, it's not fun. But I don't even remember how I got through some of this stuff. I know it was something ridiculous and tricky. Like, I'm trying to get up there, but I couldn't. And so, yeah, that's the awkward portion of this. I think I eventually found a chest in here. No, nope, must be tripping. What else we got going on? Not a whole lot I can do to comment this man, other than say that I'm terrible with directions. And that's just how how it it be like that, man. Like, so I don't know. Like, I think we're just equipping up our strongest stuff now, because she had some. St I don't. Why did I not give her that? Man, talk. I must have been really tired when I was doing this portion because that was an upgrade in firepower for her. And I just didn't do it. So, yeah, we'll see what's going on here. I think I'm just looking at the guy because I'm just lost at this point. Look at that look on my face, man. That's the look of I'm about ready to give up. It's the look of heavy disappointment. You know that definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results? That's kind of what's going on right now. So let's see what we got going on here. Nope. I thought I could go through there. Twas not the case. So. Let's see. At this point, I think I'm just getting straight frustrated because I'm not talking. I'm not interacting with the audience. I'm just like looking at this guide and getting frustrated, man. Like there really ain't nothing to do. I should have edited part of this out, but then it would have been like a five minute video, man, because I can't find my way through this. And I'm sure this is painful for some of y'all to watch. And I apologize about that. But I didn't know where else to go. So I think this might have been like, I wonder if I cut this portion out. Yeah, see, look at me. I'm irritated that I have to do this 
Oh wait, no, I avoided the battle. What? Huh. That's right, you can get down here and there's a save point. So, I, yep, this is where I'm going to call it. Because we got a, a nice little save point down there. And we didn't want to have to redo any of that big painful stuff. So, this is where I'm going to call it for the video. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. And let us know what you think in the comments section. And let us know any other games. God loves you and peace out.